Congratulations on taking delivery of your new worldwide steel building. We know how excited you must be to assemble your building, and it's important to pay extra attention to the next few steps to ensure your assembly goes as smooth as possible. The foundation is a crucial step in your building process. Your foundation engineer, whether it be Worldwide Steel or your independently contracted engineer, will determine the diameter, length, and type of anchor rod you'll need to use. Worldwide Steel does not provide anchor bolts for your project, and these must be supplied by you or your contractor. For most building projects, you'll have the option for your foundation supplier to cast the anchor rods in place when pouring your concrete or to install anchor bolts after the concrete has been poured. Your custom building has been drawn and engineered for a square and level concrete pad and or piers. Problems with the foundation will lead to problems with assembly and poor overall building performance. Ensure your foundation is correct before assembly. The paperwork delivered with your building has all the information for the layout and components of your specific building. Remember, all buildings are custom made to how the customer designed it. In this example, we are referencing a web truss building with 3 and 5 8 inch girts with post-installed anchor bolts. If your building consists of tube leg columns, then reference our tube leg column installation video. All buildings are drawn on a grid system, or grid lines as they're commonly referred to. When laying out your columns, the W1 drawing, or column layout plan, will give you measurements for proper column placement. Columns are labeled at the intersections of the truss lines, the numeric value highlighted in yellow, and the column lines, the alphabetic value highlighted in green. The trusses in your building kit correspond to these intersections and are labeled accordingly. The dimensions and grid lines shown on this W1 drawing represent the center line of the columns and base plates at each location. Columns that are specific to a certain grid location, such as grids A and 1, will be labeled as A1. If you receive columns with no labeling, those columns are typical and can be used at any main building column location that does not have a specific labeled column. Since we are using 3 and 5 8 inch girts, you will first measure 3 and 5 8 inches off the sidewall edge of slab and make a mark. This will be the outside face of the web truss column as well as the outside edge of the base plate. Measure 6 and 5 8 inches from the end wall edge of slab and make a mark. This will be the center line or grid line of your web truss column from the end wall. You have now identified the required dimensions to place your A1 column. Along the side walls of your building, run a chalk line along the 3 and 5 8 inch measurement at each corner column and snap the line. Then, measure from the end wall edge of slab over to the center line of your column at grid 2. From there, you can measure from center line to center line of each remaining column. You are now ready to mark your anchor bolt locations for each column. We encourage the use of a template for accuracy when laying out your anchor bolt locations. Worldwide Steel does not provide this template, but it can be easily made out of plywood to match the base plate dimensions and hole locations shown on your foundation drawings. Once your measurements have been pulled, align your template to center and mark where your anchor bolt hole should go. The anchor bolt holes will align perfectly with your column holes. At this time, remove the template and drill holes as required for anchor bolts. It's good practice to utilize compressed air to blow out any remaining dust in the drilled hole. Your foundation engineer will specify how your anchor bolts will be secured, usually by wedge anchors or epoxy application. Reference your F drawings for the required method. Once your anchor bolts are secure, position the 1A column at the 1A outside corner intersection. Stand the column upright and make sure it's level and square. Once it is level and square, anchor it down. Continue anchoring the rest of your columns according to your specific W1 drawing. Congratulations on taking the first steps to installing your new building. 
These steps are crucial to a successful build. So take your time, plan accordingly, and reach out to your worldwide steel buildings rep if you have any questions.